everyone welcome back to the channel my name's Dominique if you're new here today welcome today I've got a pretty big haul I've done I just feel like I've done so much shopping over the last week I did a DoorDash um, a grocery haul the other day and I only did that because we went on a huge drive we went on like a six hour drive and by the time we got home um, the next day there was just nothing you know what I mean like nothing to get me through till the weekend and I just did not feel like going to the shops that day after that drive. So what I've done is I've I've already uploaded the DoorDash video if you're interested in looking at that. I went to Aldi on the weekend and did it like a bigger shop at Aldi. So basically the main shop this week is at Aldi and it's more of um, sort of like an essential shop that I did at Woolworths. So I didn't want to put the groceries in at Woolworths and not know what I was going to pick up from Aldi first because obviously Aldi is a lot cheaper with things. In saying that, sometimes Woolworths have got specials that are cheaper than Aldi's basic prices. So I um, went to Aldi, took the family, did a big shop. Um, it was good to see because I haven't really been at Aldi for a while. Even though Aldi's not too far from our house, it was worth going and getting, you know, some things. Whatever I didn't get from Aldi is what I picked up from Woolworths. And I also had to get Easter eggs, which I won't be showing in the grocery haul because, you know, in case my kids see. Yeah, sorry, I just had to go fix all the lighting. It's really dark and as I'm looking at the camera, it's hurting my eyes. But yeah, I just, I just, I'm just finding that there's just not a great deal of variety with Easter eggs. Like I said, it is getting, it feels like it's getting worse and worse every year, but it's just like plain chocolate. They'll have some Easter eggs with some strawberry filling in it and all that sort of thing. Like we are like a, we're more of a Cadbury sort of a family. I love Cadbury's. Like I like lint and everything, but I, I really, really love Cadbury's and I prefer Cadbury's. We're just a, a Cadbury's family where we just love Cadbury's chocolate. And that's just how we are. But there's some, pri there's some things that Aldi I noticed the other day, they had heaps of variety of different Easter eggs, which I didn't really have. I didn't have a chance to have a look at because the kids were with me. Yeah, I just found there wasn't a great deal of variety and they've gone up in price like dramatically. And you know, like you used to get those car, like those little crates of eggs in the plastic clear containers. You really can't get them anymore. They're more in a box I end up getting. But um, yeah, I just find there was not a lot of variety and the expense was just dramatic. How much, even just how much I paid for Easter eggs just for my, just for my two kids. Just so much money. So Easter is really one of those things where I think you just have to sort of save up for because it can go really out of um, hand. Anyway, I ended up getting that as well, but I won't be showing that in the haul. Just wanted to say, like, you know, that we did our Easter shopping finally and we've got birthdays coming up. I've got my, my son's birthday on Good Friday, my husband's birthday on Easter Sunday and Easter as well. So it's just going to be a really busy weekend and the kids are at school up until... Um, obviously Thursday, which is tomorrow. And once they come out of school, it's just going to be straight into Easter, straight into birthdays. And then we've got two weeks off. So I don't know, it's a bit different this year. Usually you have the Easter towards the end of the holidays, but this year it's sort of getting it over and done with straight up. So, um, that's what we're going to be doing. And we're going to be going on like a little, little bit of a short, um, overnight stay somewhere as well, which I'm going to try and film this time. I'm going to try and do a little bit of a family, um, vlog well not a vlog but I, you know I'm, i'll show you where we're going and things like that so i'm going to try and do it depending on the day depending on the kids all that sort of thing but i would like to show you where we're going so let's have a look at what i've picked up from aldi this week and also from woolworths and i'll give you the totals on the screen for our family of four Hi everyone, welcome back today. I've got an Aldi grocery haul. I'll be linking the Woolworths one when I do it with it as well. But I just went into Aldi today because I did want to get meat. I did take the whole family, but we just wanted to get meat and um, a few little things, but we bought heaps, so well, more than what I expected. So um, let's run through what I've picked up. Hey, I've got lots of meat today from Aldi. So I'll start down this end. I picked up some of the mild Hungarian salami, the sliced one. Um, that's just the four pack there. That's how we prefer to sort of buy it. Um, I've also picked up the honey leg ham thinly sliced in the four pack as well, just so we, um, you know, you can have it in portion sizes. It's a lot better and you don't have to open up the whole pack. Um, two packets of hot dogs or Frankfurt's hot dogs. Um, just easier, you know, easy sometimes to have on a Friday night or something. I picked up, also we've got some beef brisket. This was 10.21 reduced from 12.77. 
Also, I've got here some of the Three Star Beef Mints. That was $19.89. Big pack of mints there. I've, I think I've got a fair bit of mints still in the freezer, but I do buy it in this, like buy it this way from either Coles or Aldi when I can get a chance. Beef Scotch Fillet Steak um, for $30 because we just haven't had steak in so long and we're really craving it. Um, we got some of the high protein cottage cheese here. I love cottage cheese and I haven't had it in ages. I got some of the Greek style yogurt. I just find the plain one just easier because I can add honey with it or fruit or anything like that. And I find sometimes the, the strawberry yogurts and things like that can be really sweet. And I did get, finally, I've been saying I'm gonna get this butter. I did get two of them um, at this time, but they're out of stock really quickly. I, they only had about four left, but um, it's still a bit cheaper than anywhere else, you know, especially like when you're paying nearly $7 for butter. So um, it's under $5. I did, did get just a big tub, a big thing of four liter ice cream, because tonight we're going to make the whipped cream, the vanilla, chocolate topping and milk. So we're gonna make ice chocolates. So I love the whipped cream in the can like this. It's just so delicious. So, but that's gone up so much in price. I remember like years ago, it was like $3.30 or something. Um, but yeah, and I just got four liters of ice cream because it's just cheaper that way. We just go through it really quickly when we're making a milkshakes. I've also got the um, yogurts, just the 12 pack of little fruit ones and I can put them in there. Um, lunch bags now because then they don't have bento lunch boxes so they don't really need the squeezy yogurts as such when they've got these little tubs and they can put them in their um, lunch bag. I got the chicken thigh bulk for $14.54 um, and also three of the three litres of full cream milk. I still haven't done a Woolworths um, a shop yet. I'm going to do the rest tonight and hopefully it'll come tomorrow. I don't really need too much more. But we bought a lot from Aldi today considering what I thought I was just going to run in and get as always. Firstly, I've got the soft sandwich bread. This was the only one they had on the shelf. So I just got one loaf because when I go to Woolworths, I'll just get my toast that I normally get. 12 pack of colas. We don't mind these. They're okay. Um, I'm not sure. I have to put all the prices up on the screen for you because I'm not sure exactly what price they are. Every time we go back to the shops, I find that everything's gone up again. So you can't rely on the prices anymore. Um, I've got some of the sprinters. I just bought the sprinter um, chips because they have not a bad price for the 20 pack. So I just got them for the kids. Um, Nescafe, I just got the small tin for 360 grams. I think it was like $15. My husband loves this 10 pack of um, a cappuccino. So we got that. Even though I just bought him a box in the DoorDash the other day, they're already gone. So um, he's got these ones. Okay, I found their Glad bags and things were a lot cheaper than Woolworths. So I picked up the garbage bags from there. Baby wipes. I love these baby wipes. They're just, they're so good. They're thick like Huggies. I just love them. So I just got a pack of them, even though I have a few somewhere, but they always go missing. But they're always good in the car. Um, I needed some snack bags and some sandwich bags. I usually get the zip bags from Aldi, but this time I thought I'll try the sandwich bags and always need snack bags as well. Um, years ago, I used to buy this soap. It's gone up in price like everything, but it's the Enchanted Rosehip Oil Soap. And sometimes they have it, sometimes they don't, or you have to search through the soap, you know, towards the back of it to see if they've got any, any in stock. I just love the smell. So I got a box of that. I bought some pepita seeds because I like these on salads and things. I've also got some salted mixed nuts. Um, uh, I just buy these or the unsalted. My husband, husband was with me, so he got salted this week. But um, yeah, I just find them a lot cheaper than anything else when it comes to nuts. So they're a good thing to get. Uh, I bought some of this chocolate topping to try. I have had it in the past, but we're right into the milkshakes at the moment and uh, iced chocolate. So I just thought I'll get um, another one of these. Um, what else have I got here? Ah, oh, disinfectant wipes. Okay, so this is a 120 pack for $3 something. So they're a pretty big pack of wipes. I got the, um, uh, the stain remover from Aldi. This is good. I think I tried the pink one last time, but it's really good. It's a really good product. So I really needed some stain remover on the kids' clothes. 
you know, I've got boys, so I always need stain removers for dirt and things. Um, my oldest boy has bought my youngest boy for his birthday a block of caramello chocolate. So I'm not sure if they will be sharing that. My husband went and bought some radish seeds and some silver beet for getting our garden started again. So I'm looking forward to that. Some of the baby cucumbers. Baby cucumbers and some green olives and also some jalapenos this week. Um, we've needed that. So we just, yeah, these are really good. So we love having like a stock up of this sort of stuff because we go through it pretty quickly. I got some of the mini Bundaberg ginger beer cans. I couldn't find the glass bottles. Um, we've got some lime juice and some lemon juice. Some lime juice and some lemon juice as well just for soda water, soda stream sort of stuff. We always just use lemon juice or whatever. Um, we've got some white flat mushrooms, because I just haven't had mushrooms in a while. Some lemons, and mandarins. We haven't had mandarins in ages and I haven't been able to find them at all. But I think I picked them up, but they were a little bit more expensive than what I thought. They were like $5 something. I walked off and didn't buy them, but my husband got them anyway. So they look like they're really nice ones. So we've got mandarins. And I've also picked up a big bag of dog food. This one was a pretty good price. It was like under $20 for, I think it was seven or eight kilos, for eight kilos. So that's just the big bag of dry dog food there. That's basically the shop today with the meat that I got as well. Like I said, a lot more than what I was expecting. It's getting late, it's getting dinner time, and I'm not even sure what I'm gonna be cooking the kids for dinner, so. Um, I'm not sure, it might be like toasted sandwiches or something. So Aldi's shop totaled $268.15, which was really good considering I got all this and that meat. So let's have a look at what I picked up from Woolworths this week as well. So the first thing I've picked up is some Tuffy, the Quilton one. I really like this product. It was on special this week for $3.50, so that's when I usually buy it, and you get three good size rolls, and it's really thick and absorbent. I've also picked up our usual chocolate milk over here, which is $5. So I just got that um, for school for the week. And yeah, it just does us for, the, for three days anyway for school. So they just have one each. I've got some fresh pink lady apples. This is probably the cheapest I've seen them at. This was $3 this week for the kilo. So I don't think I've seen apples for $3 a kilo in a long time, especially like in those little cardboard boxes anyway. I've also got some carrots, um, they're $1.70, so even the carrots are a lot cheaper as well lately. For a while there, they were like sitting at like $2.50 for a kilo, which is pretty expensive for carrots. The cauliflower was a substitute because I ordered a half of a cauliflower for $2.45 and instead they've given me a whole cauliflower, which is really good, and that would have cost $4.90. The baby spinach, $5 a bag. It's always $5 a bag. So I really do have to start growing that because it's getting really expensive. And that's for 280 grams. I've got some fresh broccoli. That was $5.22 for the broccoli that I've got here. So that's sort of something that hasn't gone down in price. Paw for $4.90. I try and get this at least once a fortnight because it's a really good fruit and it's really good for you. But it looks like it needs to be ripened. I've also got bananas over here our usual bananas they were just three dollars sixty for five of them so bananas really haven't gone down in price much either so there is a lot of fruit and veggies that are still expensive i've got some onions but they are only like a dollar seventy this week so that's really really good and i've also got a three tomatoes that was like two dollars sixty one for three tomatoes i just bought five oranges for 2.95 it was just cheaper that way and i've also got two shepherd avocados for three dollars because we like to have them just by themselves with vinegar or on um, toast for breakfast and our usual potatoes for seven dollars fifty and we'll go through nearly a bag of these a week now i've got a box of shapes the vegemite and cheese because my kids love them they're only two dollars this week so that's really really good and i've also got the chili the fully loaded wicked sweet chili and also these were two dollars a box so 
all the shapes for two dollars a box this week that i'm assuming i'm pretty sure but really good price when you can get them for that because they're usually really expensive and i've also got this gravy this one's just easy sometimes to have that was three dollars eighty this week for the granules just to make up you know for chips and gravy if we want it or something like that and i've also got the organic pasta sauce the chunky tomato and garlic basil that was two dollars thirty this is a really nice brand of um, pasta sauce i do usually buy it i know i can get those big bottles which i do get the woolworths brand ones but i do like this one occasionally too um and i've also got just the kids favorite is the Le snacks and they were on special this week for four dollars which is still pretty expensive for the snacks um but they're usually i think five dollars fifty i've got um a few cans of tuna because my kids will just smash these for the week they will just eat them anyway and they were two dollars a can this week but they will be gone in like two days so at least they can have that after school sometimes it's just handy they can just have it plain or with some crackers i've also just got some pasta um two dollars a bag i don't mind this brand it's nice and i just got the spiral sort of pasta just to put with um the pasta sauce and cheese just make an easy one one night and i've also got the black pepper that's gone up in price i can't believe it's three dollars seventy but i love the coarse pepper one it's just tastes like you've sort of milled it yourself um this is sort of our favorite one even though sometimes it sort of chokes me and like i cough a lot because it gets caught in my throat a bit um but it is a really nice pepper and there's iodized salt that we needed for $1.50. Milo, I told you all how much Milo we go through. It's ridiculous. So this was on special for a kilo for $12 this week. So I just got it because I think it was like a saving of $3 something. So I just got it this week because I knew next week I was going to need it. And, you know, it's better to buy it now. Um, tissues, $1.70 because we seem to be going through these quite a bit. Um, and I've also got the little... Uh, three ply nine or oh, sorry six pack um for a dollar forty so i thought that was pretty good that's just to put in their school bags or their pocket or sometimes i just open them up and they're already pre-folded to put into their pocket and they can just take a few in their pocket if they've got a runny nose or if they need to wipe their hands or something like that so i like to buy those little packs it's just a lot easier and a lot more convenient in my handbag as well so i don't mind them um i've got some table salt because my husband is getting a it's called a bug assault gun for his birthday this year um and they put salt in it and you can kill flies with it apparently so i've just got some table salt there i've got some wheat bix bites because my kids really like this cereal it's just like plain but it's a little bit sweet as well and i don't mind just snacking on it now and then but that was four dollars a box this week for the wild berry so i think they've got a few different types i think they've got a honey one as well but um, we just like the wild berry one. But it isn't really good. It's a really good like um, snacking sort of a thing. You can just grab a couple of pieces out and snack on it. Or you can put yogurt with it as well. But my kids just like it for breakfast. And it just goes really quick. And I got my substitute bread again. So this is the Tip Top Bakery. I ordered four loaves. And they've just given me two of these to substitute as well. So they didn't have any other um, uh, soft toast in. So I've only got two loaves of bread this week instead of four. So I'm not sure why I didn't get other bread with it because I really did need like the four loaves of bread. But instead they've just given me two loaves of this and they've just refunded the rest of the money for the other two loaves. This week I did order just the Woolworths um, eggs but instead they've given me these as a substitute, the 12 cage free eggs for $5. But it isn't noted here on my substitution list but I didn't order those ones. Um, the iceberg lettuce which I forgot to show you before um, we're just going to make a quick salad with that or it makes good like egg and mayonnaise and curry sandwiches. Um, $2 a bag. So I just find it so convenient because the lettuces this week were like $4. I've got some chicken breast crumb nuggets, the 400 gram box, and they are $4.40 now. can't believe they've gone up a fair bit. Um, $4.40 for them. And I've also got some bacon just for um, bacon and eggs over the weekend. $13.20 for a kilo of that. Orange juice, um, which will go pretty quickly in our house for $5. Just some juice there as well um, for breakfast or through the day. Um, yeah, it's just easy. I've also forgot to show you the milk again because I sort of get it in and I put it straight in the fridge outside. But we've got two times three litres of milk because I've also got some from Aldi. So I didn't need a lot of milk this week. 
But in total, I'm actually going to give you the whole total of the shop that I spent at Woolworths. I did buy Easter eggs, but I'm not going to show them in the shop. But I just thought it was just fair to show, well, to tell you exactly how much I have spent. So at Woolworths this week, I spent $261.88. So that will give you a fair idea of how much I've spent on Easter eggs as well, which are fairly expensive at the moment. So I hope everyone has a really happy Easter and I'll see you soon with my next videos. Thanks everyone. Bye.